Hey guys, welcome to the vlog. My name is Ken, and today we're gonna to be talking about creating your own transitions in Adobe Premiere Rush. Stick around. Discover your alter ego today. The video you saw earlier was something I put together for the Brooks Run Happy team on the release of a new shoe. The Brooks Levitate shoe is all about your alter ego and what you transition into. I thought it would be a great idea to incorporate a transition effect, to use it in the unboxing of the shoes, and then uh, to reveal myself running later on in the video. The glitch transition that I use is not an option inside of Adobe Premiere Rush, so I had to make my own. Here's how I did it. Okay, so to make this really easy, I'm just gonna let it play and I'll do my little narration over top of it. We can both watch it together. So all I'm doing here is organizing my clips the way I want them. I'm cutting them up to kind of get them in the order that I would like them to be in. And I'm gonna really look back and see if these are the transitions that I wanna focus on. Anyway, I have my two clips set up just the way I want them. And I'm cycling back to make sure this is the transition I want. So to do the glitch transition, what I'm gonna do is take that first clip and I'm gonna cut off just a little sliver at the end. I'm gonna duplicate the cut and drag it on top as an overlayer. I'm gonna to go to the right side of the transition that I want. I'm gonna do my cut, duplicate the little sliver, and drag that on top as well as another overlay. And then what I'll do is I'll swipe back and forth to make sure the transition still looks exactly the same as before. Now once I'm happy with the way that this looks, I'm going to start my editing process to really work on that glitch effect. We're going to select our duplicate copy and I'm going to go into the little crop tool, uh, which is the transform tool, and I'm going to turn that opacity down to about 50%. You can either select 50% from the slider or just manually type it in. Once the opacity is set to about 50%, I'm going to go through and adjust the scale. I'm going to blow the scale up so that way it overlaps what is currently there and you can kind of see how big of a difference it's gonna make. Once I'm happy with the overall scale, I'm gonna mess around with the position of that clip. I'm gonna play with the horizontal and vertical settings to try to find the right setting. Then we're gonna jump into the color tab, the three little circles, and we're gonna to go to edit. We're gonna take the tint and slide that to the left for green or to the right to magenta. And we can really amp up that green or magenta by taking our vibrancy and saturation and dragging it all the way to the right hand side. So I'm not gonna repeat that process on the second side of the transition. Again, turning my opacity 50%, adjusting the scale and the position. There's no set rules for this, so tweak it however you want. Once I'm happy with how it looks, I'm gonna go in, take that tint, put it all the way to the right. I'm going for a heavy magenta, my vibrance and saturation, I'm gonna drag those all the way over as well. And here you can see the transition. Now when I hit the play, my little transition is complete. It's a nice little glitch. You can see on the Brooks Levitate box how Levitate is sliced up to make it look like a glitch. And that's kind of the effect that I was going for. So right now I have different glitch sound effects. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick two that I like. One's a short glitch sound and one's a longer glitch sound. And what I'm gonna do is slice those up separate the video from the audio, and then drag that audio underneath my transitions. One of the things I noticed in Adobe Premiere Rush is that if you overcomplicate things, sometimes the app will drag for a little bit or some of the things will lag. So what happened here was I was trying to find the right audio clips that I wanted, and I guess from scrubbing a lot, it kind of just threw things off and locked up on me. So it'll happen from time to time. I got my glitch sound, I separated the audio, and I drag it underneath to where my transition's going to be. Now I'm gonna go back and clean up and get rid of those extra sounds that I don't need. I'm gonna place my glitch effect right in between the two, play it back, not too bad. So for the next glitch effect, what I'd like to do is make it a little bit longer than just two cuts. So what I'm gonna do here is on the right and left hand side of the transition, I'm gonna make two cuts, two duplicates up above as my overlayer, 
on the left hand side, two cuts and two duplicates on the right hand side of the transition. For this one, I did this on purpose because what I want to do is give it a real longer glitch effect. So here you can see I'm just cutting, duplicating, and shuffling around to overlay those layers. So now I have one on the right and one on the left, and now I'm going to go back and duplicate that again. So now I have two on the right and two on the left. And anytime you cut and scrub, you want to go back. Anytime you make any cuts and duplicates, you do want to go back and scrub just to make sure that transition is pretty seamless. And once again, it's just rinse and repeat. I'm going to jump in. I'm going to change the opacity down to 50%, blow out the scale, and play with the horizontal and vertical positions of that clip. Then I'm going to jump into the color tab and move my tint over to the left or right, either getting a heavy green or a really magenta color. And then I'm going to blow out the vibrance and saturation and really make it pop. So here you can see I'm alternating green magenta, green magenta. That's kind of the thing that I'm going for. It sort of matches the levitate box. Now, obviously, the more time you put into making this glitch effect, the more of a drastic effect it's going to be. You can either do a really short one or a really long one. It's all depending on you. All right, I, I'm just going to speed things up a little bit because I think you get the gist of what's going on. Let's see what the finished product looks like. And there you go. That's how you do it. That's how you make a glitch transition inside of Adobe Premiere Rush. That'll wrap it up for me, and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.